Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 51 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in to today's show. If you caught our last episode, we were talking about search engine optimization of your images inside of Adobe Lightroom. I got a lot of responses to that video and many of you asked, hey, can I do the same thing inside of Photoshop? Yes, you can. Let's go ahead and take a look. You can see on the screen in front of you, I'm inside of Photoshop and there are actually two places you would edit the metadata for an image. The first place would be under the file menu and simply the file info dialog box. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see this dialog box better and I want you to notice we have the same IPTC category fields that I introduced to you in the last video using Adobe Lightroom. So I want you to understand any edits you make inside of Lightroom would show up here under that image inside of Photoshop and any changes I make to the category fields here would be imported back into Lightroom if you're in that round trip workflow. So as I scroll through the different contact and image information fields, I also want to point out this is a nice added feature. Photoshop actually gives you informational links back to the IPTC website and other category websites so you can understand what the fields mean. We also have our IPTC IPTC extension info, which would include things like location information, information about model releases, and any administrative info. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this dialog box because the second place you might go to edit your metadata is when you save the image out for the web. So if I edited this file, it was a Photoshop PSD, but now I want to save it for the web. Once again, I'll zoom so you can see the dialog box better. It's right here under metadata. You have the option when you create a web image to remove all the metadata, simply include the copyright information. You can include copyright and contact info, which I would recommend, or you can leave all the metadata intact. So those are the two places inside of Photoshop where you might edit the file. But just like Lightroom, you could edit and manage multiple images and lots of metadata all at once. You would use Adobe Bridge. So if I cancel out of this dialog box and simply go to Browse inside of Bridge, here you can see we have the same image. And if we look over to the right, this is the Metadata tab. So the advantage of using Adobe Bridge, I could select a range of images and over to the right of the metadata tab, I have the ability to once again create metadata templates. So I can create a new template, edit an existing template, append a template, or even replace metadata. So notice here if I go to create a template, just like we saw inside of Lightroom, I could make a unique metadata template to be applied to multiple images at once. So it doesn't matter if you're using Lightroom or if you've got Photoshop as part of your workflow, you have a way to manage metadata and make that accessible for your images when you post to the internet. So if this image or this image, if this video has been helpful to you, as always, I appreciate a good thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit me on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. I'm there each week answering questions for you and creating these videos. So I always appreciate your time. You guys have an excellent weekend, and I'll see you next week.